Hi there. I've uh, just got off the bus uh, from Sheffield. Uh, I'm at a well-known pub uh, just on the outskirts uh, at Longshaw. It's called the Fox House. Um, beautiful weather at the moment, but there's some heavy rain and high winds forecast for later on. So I thought, great time for a overnight wild camp. Um, I've got a new tent I'd like to try out in the the bad weather. It's a uh, Hilleberg Sulu. It's a tent I've uh, bought mainly for winter camping or when there's a uh, high winds forecast. So uh, I'm going to try that out and uh, see how it performs. I'm going to be camping at a uh, place uh, White Edge. It's about three miles over in that direction. So while it's still fine, I'm going to get off there and uh, find somewhere to pitch. So I'll see you in a bit later. Right, this is the path uh, leading up to White Edge uh, where I'm going to camp. Uh, the wind's picking up a bit now, um, it's not too bad. Um, one of the main reasons I'm out is to try this new uh, Hilleberg Sulu tent. Uh, I used to have uh, a Terra Nova Quasar, which were a fantastic tent. It was just that it was very heavy, it was about nine pound in weight. So very heavy to uh, carry. So that made me uh, think I need something a bit lighter. So listening to uh, a lot of uh, reviews on YouTube, um, everybody seemed to praise the um, Hilleberg Sulu. I want it basically for winter camping. I want it to be able to take high winds and snow. And one of the main reasons I want it, it pitches out to first. So. Uh, as you know, we get a lot of rain, and um, it sort of suits me that I can, I can get it pitched in the rain and keep the inner dry. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head off up here and find somewhere to pitch. Uh. Right, I've uh, been walking along uh, White Edge for about a mile or so. Um, it stayed fine and that, although it is, uh, it is pretty windy and that. Uh, I've come to the, the trick point here, just behind me. Uh, I've got a good area behind here to camp. It's, uh, it's a level bit of moorland and uh, it's got extensive views of the uh, the moor behind me looking uh, over to Chesterfield. Um, if it was clear tonight we should be able to see the lights of uh, Chesterfield but uh, I think the fact it's forecast all the rain I don't think we'll be seeing much. Anyway, I'm going to get my tent uh, set up now before the, uh, the the weather does turn and that. Right, this is the area I'm going to set my tent up. Uh, got the wind coming straight at me, really. Uh, the ground's fairly wet. Um, it is uh, end of March. Um, I'm not using the Hilleberg pegs. I've got these uh, Alp kit... Um, wide beams the extra long ones uh give me a bit more um secure fixing i think in this soft ground and that so that's the tent uh sort of temporary in position um match we're getting the poles in now the long long ones going first you've got a sleeve push the pole right down and then get the diagonal opposite end in now the other long one That's those to him. Now it's just the short one which is uh goes across.
so that's the poles in so it's uh, just a simple matter now of walking round and clipping the tent to the the poles it could be pouring with rain but your inner stays dry so that's all those on right let's get the uh, the main guys in now as it's uh, getting a bit breezy so they got these guy ropes you wrap them around the pole it makes it a lot more secure and peg them pretty wide right at least I know it's secure so it's uh, just going to get this um, ventilation uh, cover over so that hooks onto there So that covers, that's the cover for the, the ventilation uh, system. Right, so I'm just going to finish uh, getting these other pegs in now. Uh, other guys on. Right, uh, that's the tent all pitched. I'll just show you around it. It's got uh, six pegs uh, down at the bottom holding sort of the tent in place and then it's got another six pegs round the perimeter and uh, they support two, two guy lines each. If you have a look at uh, the guy arrangement as uh, when I was setting it up you can see that um, it's actually wrapped round the pole so it secures the uh, the tent out to the pole and then that's obviously guide back uh, secure so it does make the tent very secure it feels very stable uh, even though it's quite windy there doesn't seem to be much movement as we come round that will be the entrance, uh, that's actually the door which will unzip so I've got that downwind so it'll give me a bit of shelter and I, I hope to do a bit of cooking there later on Right, uh, tents all pitched, I've had a cup of coffee um, started raining outside but uh, at least the uh, tent's up so I'll be fine um, main reason I bought this uh, Sulu tent is mainly for winter camping so around November to uh, February into March um, this I think it weighs in about £5 4 ounce with the poles and the pegs so that's an acceptable weight I'm, uh, I'm okay uh, carrying that um, I've looked at the reviews on YouTube and everybody seemed to have good things to say about it. Um, it stood up to the wind very well. Uh, it would take quite a bit of snow loading uh, for, for camping out in the snow. Um, I think the main thing that uh, sold it for me was the fact that you can basically pitch it all in one go. So it was ease of pitching. Um, I won't, like it's raining now, it's windy, it's wet, as it quite often is in uh, our country. Um, I won't want to be pitching an inner tent, getting it wet and then quickly trying to get the outer on it. Um, this, as you saw, you, it all goes up in one go and it's so easy and then all the inners nice and dry. 
No, I've just been uh, woken up earlier by the noise of the rain beating against the outside of the tent and the uh, the wind. It's got very, uh, very windy, um, very gusty. Um, just had a drink, um, not cold or anything. Um, just thought I'd better have a drink. Uh, I brought it with me and that, so I'll make use of it. But um, it stayed nice and dry in here. I'm no condensation at all. All this area, it's all dry. I've had the uh, top vent open, and although I've had the inner, inner closed up, I've had that open at the top, to, and I think that's kept it dry. But um, I know the weather forecast was for a lot of rain but um, we've had nine hours, well it's five o'clock it started, it's about two now so we're about nine hours up to now but uh, the tent feels solid, it, um, you get some real big gusts and you, it, it, it kind of shudders and then just goes back again so it, uh, it does feel solid in that yeah, that's the noise of the rain, really loud. Must be terrible out there. Right, good morning. Um, very uh, windy and um, uh, rainy night. Thinking rain till about two in the morning. So then the wind's picked up even more now, so uh, it should be fun uh, packing this away. Uh, I'm just going to have uh, a drink and uh, a bit to eat, a bit of porridge to eat, and then I'll uh, start packing everything up. Um, we attempt to perform fine, uh, very rigid, no problems at all. Uh, I had no condensation inside, so uh, I'm pleased about that. I was slept with my head at that side for a couple of hours, then realised that the, um, the side of the tent, uh, I thought, well, like, this keeps banging against me, it's not very comfortable. Then I realised this end of the tent is uh, a bit wider, um, so I, I swapped round and it, it was more comfortable. Um, I got a little bit more room, um, but I suppose you could sleep uh, either way. I suppose you have more ventilation at this end. Right, got a bit of a dry period, so I'm going to try and uh, drop the tent uh, while it's uh, stopped raining and that. Um, so I'll just leave the camera running while I try and get it packed away.
Right, uh, made it back to uh, Fox House uh, pub at Longshore. This is the bus shelter I'm uh, um, just sheltering in. It was really wild, windy, hail, everything walking back. I got uh, pretty wet and that, but it was too windy to film outside. So, um, anyway, a good camp. Um, really tested me Sulu tent. Um, we had about probably nine hours of torrential rain, five hours of showers, stood up to that fine, no problems at all, uh, no leaks or anything. Uh, the winds were probably around 35, 40 mile an hour, probably just stronger than that. Um, and it, it was very, very rigid, never, never moved, so uh, I'm happy with that. The five pound, four ounce weight, that was a lot easier on me back. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, he's done everything I wanted really, so I think that'll become my winter tent that and I'll, I'll use that November through to probably March time. Um, as we get into spring, I, I want to go back to sort of bivvying, um, sort of real lightweight. Instead of £25 on my bike, I'd like to think I've got about eight to £10 and uh, got a lot of long distance uh, walks I want to do. This is only really like the 40, 50 milers where I want to do them in two, two like two days and baby out overnight. So uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. Anyway, I think my bus is uh, due. So, uh, I'm going to get back to Sheffield and dry all my gear out. Uh, thanks for walking and uh, I'll see you then.